and we're going to find out about it. I would say by his birthday of 2022, we're going to find out that he's moved on and he's seeing somebody else, a famous person. Hi everyone, welcome back to No Light Tarot. This is a channel dedicated to hot topics from a tarot perspective. I keep saying that, I think I might have sold that for somebody, so I apologize if I have. <laughs> I'm not going to say it moving forward. Um, I decided to do this video on my own accord. I haven't done a video that I want to do by myself in a very long time, so this is a video I'd like to do. I have other requests coming. If you want to make a request, please subscribe and write in the comment section the video you'd like to see and that you're a subscriber. So today I want to talk about Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet. Um, what happened in their breakup? So I've told you all, I used to live in Los Angeles. Um, throughout my life, since I was a teenager, I've been surrounded by lots of famous people. And so I kind of, some of my clients, my clientele are famous too. So I've kind of had like a sneak peek into some stories. I don't talk about a lot of private things that I know. For sure because i think that's invasive and i still want to be respectful of people but i did hear um through people not necessarily in, in the industry well yes people in the industry i'm not going to say their names so forth and not necessarily anybody famous but i did hear about jason Momoa that he was kind of like a player and he was cheating on lisa bonet i don't like to take gossip as that but when they announced the divorce i was like hmm Wow. So let's get into the energy. The past, oh, let me read the um, charts first. So Jason Momoa, his sun is in Leo, his rising is in Libra, and his moon is in Scorpio. I would explain why he's so attractive. A lot of rising and Libras are very attractive people. So, uh, Lisa Bonet, his, her sun is in Scorpio, her moon is in Taurus, and her rising is in Cancer. So, where family aren't it? Because a lot of famous people live rising as a cancer. Anyway, so the past seven of ones, ten of ones, and ten of pentacles. I have a strong feeling that they had a lot of compromising to do. He has eye on her for a long time. And because of that, he was like, okay, anything you want me to do, I'll do it. But then he starts to become famous. So with the present being four of ones, nine of cups, and death and rebirth. They had to come to terms with the fact that their relationship was evolving more into a friendship than a, a true partnership that still had romance. In fact, I actually think somebody else, another woman is involved on his part. I don't know if it's Amelia Clark, but I see that I, there's another woman involved. So, with the future being Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and Four of Swords, Lisa Bonet is not going to be very happy about this. In fact, he's going to move on very fast. He might even get married very soon to this other person. And we're going to find out about it. I would say by his birthday of 2022, we're going to find out that he's moved on and he's seeing somebody else, a famous person. I don't know if it's Amelia Clark, but I do know there's somebody else in the picture. So the chariot, he's going to move on very fast and it's going to be upsetting for Lisa Bonet because, you know, she is older, she's in Hollywood and it's not as easy for a woman who's older in Hollywood to move on than it is for a young guy where he's in his 40s, early 40s. He's like the hunk of right now, you know, so with the emperor knight of cups and the hermit she might do the scorpio thing lisa might do the scorpio thing and kind of like try to sabotage him in some kind of way eight of swords the t the tower she might try to be like oh you know i don't see her doing it too much because she doesn't seem like a vindictive person but her emotions are going to get the best of her and she might try to sabotage um his future relationship quite unfortunate, very unfortunate actually. Okay, so she's going to end up doing an interview, Lisa, the Queen, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands and Princess of Swords. She's going to end up doing an interview with that 
will reveal how she feels now about the situation and it might not be it might not paint him in the best light i mean it is her opinion she can say what she wants i just i feel weird when people have kids with people and they talk they speak ill of the father or of the mother of the children i don't like that it's different if it's an ex and you have kids with that person but when you bring kids into a situation just wait till they're old enough to understand it fully than to talk about it so ten of wands and the wheel she kind of wants to get him back for what she's going through and i think she will so i pulled a card for healing and it says true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love and i think that that's what they need to do i mean obviously it's a horrible situation i feel like there's a lot of drama emotions involved in this but forgiveness is number one because if down the line or until we forgive just process it in private because down the line none of us want to be embarrassed about how we responded to a situation so i love you all please subscribe for more take care